Did they get make a good rock star, Jess? <laughs> no, me neither. What on earth's that noise, Jess? Julian! Charlie! Why are you making such a racket? Sorry, Dad. Me and Charlie are starting our own band. You see, we, we've written our own song and we need to practice it. But my drums are at the school hall, so I'm practicing with these instead. Look! La, 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 la. We sound terrible. Yeah. Hmm. What we need is a proper singer. Why don't you look for a singer here in Greendale? That's a great idea. Will you help us find someone, Dad? Yeah, you could be our, our manager, Mr Clifton. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. I'll tell everyone on my rounds and we could audition them later if you like. Brilliant. Speaking of my rounds, I'd best be going. Cheerio, boys. Bye, Bye, Mr Dad. Clifton. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jess wants to be in our band too. <laughs> come on then, Jess. You can come to the school hall with us to practice. Uh, oh, morning, Ted. Morning, Pat. Good morning, Mrs Goggins. Good morning, Pat. My word, you're in fine voice today. Ah, uh, but not fine enough. Eh? Julian and Charlie are looking for a singer for their band, and I'm helping them find someone. Well, if it's a singer they're after... We'll be auditioning everyone at the school hall later. I'd best be off then. Uh, lots to do. Cheerio! Bye, Ted. I was quite the wee star in my day, you know, Pat. <laughs> la 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 So, what do you think, Pat? Am I good enough for the band? Oh, um... You're very energetic, Mrs Goggins, but I don't think it's quite what Julian and Charlie are looking for. Oh, well, never mind. But it would be great if you could come along later and help with the auditions. Oh, yes, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and I'll make sure everyone knows about it. That sounded pretty good. Let's give it a try. Well, I never. Sounds like I've found my singer already. Hello, Pat. Uh, oh, hello, Arthur. That, that singing voice, it's just what I'm looking for. Oh, that'll be Lucy. She's always singing around the house. Voice like an angel. Lucy! Yes, Dad. Oh, hello, Pat. Hello, Lucy. My, you've got a beautiful voice there. Julian and Charlie are auditioning for their band later. Why don't you come along? Oh, no. I couldn't sing in front of anyone. But you're so good. No, N no, I couldn't. What a shame. Dear, that didn't sound right at all. Where's that funny noise coming from? Oh no, it's my synthesizer. Something's wrong, listen. Hold on a minute. That meow sounds familiar. Jess! Wow. Phew, it's only Jess. He's meowing into the microphone. 
<laughs> Silly Jess. Hmm. Jess is a good singer for a cat. Hello there, Alf. Hello, Pat. Would you like to come along and audition for Julian and Charlie's band? <laughs> I can sing for you now if you like. <laughs> Steady there, Daisy. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to give this singing like a miss. Me sheep are too excitable. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. Cheerio, Alf. Hi. Cheerio. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Oh, dear. Do, re, mi, it sounds like finding a singer is going to be more do, difficult than I thought. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Charlie and Julian have started their own band. Really? Oh, I'd love to be in a band. Well, maybe you can be. They're looking for a singer and you'd be perfect. Wow. I've always wanted to be a pop star, but I can't sing very well. la ti da 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 la 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 Maybe you just need a bit of practice. Try this. La 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 Wow! I didn't know you could sing like that, Mira. You should audition for Julian and Charlie's band. They're at the school hall this afternoon. I'll meet you there. Bye! Shh! Maybe you can audition after all. How? I don't want to sing in front of everyone, but if you pretend to, I could sing for you. But everyone would know. Not if I hid behind the curtain, they wouldn't. Wow! <gasps> Thanks, Lucy. Maybe I can be a pop star after all. But are you sure you don't want to audition? <gasps> no way! Well done, boys. That sounds fantastic. We've done it, Charlie. We've got our very own song. OK, boys. Are you ready to start auditioning for your singer? Yeah! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the audition. Oh, <laughs> looks like we've got a busy afternoon ahead of us. OK, everyone. Here's a copy of Charlie and Julian... <clears throat> I mean, the band song. We'd like everyone to have a try at it. Well, would anyone like to start us off? I will. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, come on, let me take you to a place where everybody can dance with somebody It's easy, can't you see? Um, thank you, Ted. Uh, that's enough to be going on with for now. Uh, eh? Eh? Oh, oh. oh all right. Next, please. If you want somebody to make you Feel happy, come on, let me take you To a place where everybody It's easy, can't you see? Come on, join with me! Clap your hands! Everybody turn around! No, no, that's oh, my line! No, 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 that's my line! No, no, you were going to come in no, on the that's other my one! Line. No, no, I'm sorry! No, I'm no. Sorry, no, I'm really sorry. Girls, maybe you can decide who's singing what and try again later. Yeah, OK, Pat. Then we can both sing that bit together. Who'd like to go next? <laughs> if you want somebody to make you happy, come on, let me take you to a place where everybody can see dance with 
su party! Come on, join with me! Was that? I don't know, but it didn't sound much like our song. Well, what do you think? That was a um, that was great, Bill, but it's not quite what we're looking for. Okay. This is hopeless. Yeah, I know what you mean. If you want somebody to make. Take you to a oh. place where everybody oh, yeah, she's good. can dance with somebody. Ooh, that it's voice sounds familiar. Come on, join with me. Clap your hands. <sighs> Lucy, of course. Everyone's staring at me. Well, what should I do? Sing! I, I can't. Yes, you can. It should have been you standing here instead of me in the first place. But... Come on, Lucy. You're amazing. See? Oh, I don't think I can. Yes, you can, Lucy. That sounds fantastic. Really? Oh, OK. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, come and let me take you to a place where everybody can dance with somebody. It's easy, can't you see? Come on, join with me. Well, boys, I think you've found your singer. Everybody turn around. Welcome to the band, Lucy. Stamp your feet. Jump up, jump down, you can do it! Postman, postman, that's... Can you guess what's in his bag? Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. What a lovely day. Good morning, Pat. Ah, it's bonny, isn't it? You hardly want to be working on a sunny day like this. Yes, I know what you mean. But we deliver whatever the weather. Oh, aye, of course. Well then, these are letters for the school. Uh, and these are for the Reverend. Oh, and this important looking letter's for Ajay. Right. I'd better deliver that first thing. Right you are. Have a good day. I will. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Do not connect here. Adje! Oh! Oh! These up! Coming, love. Hello, Adji. What's going on here, then? Morning, Pat. It's the rocket. She's not running properly. I don't know why. Oh, no! What's wrong? It's the Greendale Rocket Annual Inspection. I completely forgot. You'll have her sorted by the end of the day, won't you? Nay, no, Pat. The inspector's coming this afternoon. I haven't even got the rocket working yet. And look at the state of the station. If we don't pass the inspection, they could close it down. We might have to leave Greendale. Well, that's not going to happen. We need this station and we need you to run it. I know. Why don't I ask everyone if they can come and help? Oh, 
Thanks, Pat. That'd be grand. Don't worry, Ajay. We'll sort this out. Bye, Pat. Bye. Hello, you two. Here's the post. Thanks, Pat. Everything all right, love? It's action stations, I'm afraid. What do you mean? The train inspector is coming today. Today? Oh, no. We're not ready. But we will be. Ajay's working on the train now. The nut connects here. All you have to do is make sure the cafe is running OK. Leave it to us, Pat. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> no problem. See you later. The regulator handle connects to the reach rod. The reach rod connects to the crossbar. The crossbar connects to the main valve and... Oh! Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I'll never make this work. Morning, Pat. What's all the kerfuffle? We've got a bit of an emergency, Ted. An emergency? Yes. Ajay needs our help. The rocket's broken down and there's a train inspector arriving this afternoon. Bayek, I'll get myself over there right away. Thanks, Ted. See you later. Might have more luck with the train anyway. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. All right, everyone. Playtime's over. Morning, everyone. Here's your post. Morning, Pat. Everything all right? Well, I'm fine, but Ajay's got a bit of a problem. What's wrong with Dad? The train inspector's coming today, Mira. Your dad just got the letter. But the rocket's not working, and the station's all messy. Oh, dear. We were going to have a school trip to the station this afternoon. We'll have to cancel now. Oh. Oh. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, I've got a good idea. Go on then, Sarah. Why don't we go and help tidy up the station? Yeah, great idea. That could be our school trip. Yeah, cool. That great idea. Idea. Go on. Well, are you sure we wouldn't get in the way? No, not at all. Ajay's been hoping for some helpers. OK, then. We'll get down to the station right after lunch. Hooray! Thanks, Jeff. See you later. Bye, Pat. Ajay? Uh, what? Ow! Oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh? Sorry, love. What did you say? Uh, never mind. There, that's the last of the autumn crocuses. Hello, Reverend. Here's your post. Oh, hello, Pat. You caught me planting my bulbs. Well, your flowers are looking lovely. Why, Thank you, Pat. Actually, Reverend, it was your flowers I wanted to talk to you about. Oh? How so? Ajay's got the train inspector coming today and the station window boxes are looking a bit of a mess. And you thought my flowers might help brighten them up? Well, yes, if that's OK. I should be delighted. I'll just finish here and then I'll get down to the station. We can't let Ajay and Nisha down, can we? Oh, that's wonderful, Reverend. Thank you. Come on, Jess. Hello, how's it going? Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. What's the good news? I know what's wrong with Rocket, and I know how to fix it. 
And the bad news? I haven't got right part. I need a stuffing box. You can only get them from the main station works in Pancaster. Oh, well, that's torn it. Well, I've got errands to run in Pancaster anyway. It'll be no problem to stop at the station works and pick it up. Oh, Pat, that'd be champion. You carry on working on the rocket and I'll be back as soon as possible. OK. Bye, Pat. Right, let's get cracking. Right, everyone ready? Yes, yes sir. Sam. Yes, yes I'm Me ready, too. sir. Come on then, let's go. There. Perfect. Uh, maybe we've still got these cakes to ice, don't forget. Hello, AJ. Hello. We've come to help. Oh, thanks, everyone. This is really kind of you. So, what do you want us to do first? Well... All this should get stored in the engine shed. Right. OK. Up we go. <sighs> the platform needs washing down and sweeping. The signs on the door needs polishing. The benches need repainting. And all the windows need cleaning. Right. Forward, troops. That's us. And as for you, Reverend... Never fear, Ajay. I already have my calling. Well, I never. Come on, Ajay. Look lively. The inspector will be here any minute. I hope Pat makes it in time. It's getting late, Jess. I hope we get back in time. Ajay, hello. What? I've got the stuffing box. Just the bloke I was hoping to see. There you go. She's good as new. Hello. Hello, is anyone there? I hope it's the train inspector. This is it, lads. How do you do, uh, Mr. Baines? Hello. Oh, I'm here to inspect your train and station. Yes, I... Please don't interrupt. We've got a lot to get through now. I shall want to see everything. Right, I... Uh, 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 sh sh Please lead on, Mr. Baines. Well, Mr. Baines, your engine shed could do with some proper dusting. Yes. And your ticket office needs tidying up. Yes. But, um, 
The cakes were delicious. And your Greendale rocket is most impressive. It's particularly cheering to see the whole village so involved oh. in the station. Yeah. I'm delighted to inform you that the Greendale station and rocket have passed their inspection. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Cheers, Bat. I don't know what I would have done without you. Don't thank me. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. Or a free ride on the train. All aboard for the Greendale rocket! Morning, Mrs. Goggins. There's a lot of parcels today. Aye, Pat. But it's all art supplies for the school and a few wee letters. Art supplies, eh? I always loved art at school. Oh, really? Yes, but not much call for artists in Greendale. Oh, I don't know. Oh, don't forget these letters. Bye, Pat. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Now, everyone, as you know, this afternoon all your mums and dads will be coming to school to look at your schoolwork. <gasps> Morning, Jeff. I've got your art supplies. Hello, Pat. Why, you're just in time. Come on, everyone. Let's take a look and see what we've got. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle, why don't we do a special picture? What kind of picture, Sarah? Like the best thing that's happened to us all year. Yeah, or the most fun. Or the most exciting. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Good idea, Sarah. Ooh, what are you going to paint, Sarah? It's a secret. Oh. Right, come on, everyone. Let's get started. I'll be going then, Jeff. See you later. The most exciting thing that happened all year. I wonder what we'd choose, eh, Jess? Me? Meow. How about when we got stuck in the woods and had to camp overnight? Meow. Or that time you got stuck in the runaway kite? Meow. Yes, that was exciting, wasn't it? Is everything OK, Sarah? No, sir. My picture keeps going all wrong. Well, why don't you try a different sort of picture? How'd you been? Well, look. The twins are doing a collage. Oh. What's that? We're sticking things onto the paper to make a picture. Like cotton wool and things. This is looking great, you two. Is it a picture of you sledging? That's right, sir. Because the most exciting thing that happened to us was when Pat rescued us from the ice. We were sledging and our sledge went too far. I was really scared. Me too. But then Pat came to rescue us. He was really brave. Thank goodness for Pat. So that's what our picture is all about. But I don't know what to use for the pond. How about this paper? It's all shibbery like water. That's perfect. Thanks, Sarah. I think you're right, sir. Maybe a collage would be good. Oh. 
<laughs> morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. There we go. My, is this all the post? Yes, it's very quiet today. Tell me, Reverend, what did you like best about last year? Mm, well, I, I really don't know. I enjoyed playing the music for the circus. That was fun. <laughs> yes, wasn't it? Come on, Jess, stop playing with that bird. Bye, Reverend. Bye, Pat. Oh, stupid collage. Everything all right, Sarah? No, sir. I don't know what to draw. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Tis. Well, why don't you think about something that makes you happy and paint that? I mean, look at Bill. I'm doing a picture of when me and Pat were clowns. It was really exciting. <laughs> Everybody came to see us. And being clowns were brilliant. I want to be a clown when I grow up. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You were very funny. Oh, no! I've run out of purple. I can't finish it now. We can make purple. All you need is some red paint, add some blue, mix them together, and there you go. Purple. That's brilliant, Sarah. Thanks. Oops! Ugh! Morning, Ajay. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Thanks, Pat. Hello, Pat. Busy day? No, I've hardly delivered anything apart from some art supplies for the school. The children are drawing the best thing that's happened to them this year. I know what Mira would draw. Me too. Our, Our new, new house. house. The children have been so happy since we've moved here. We all are. Aren't we, Nikhil? <laughs> Yes, that was definitely a good day. I'm still trying to decide what I'd choose. It's easy. It's the Greendale rocket every time. Isn't it, love? Yes, Ajay. You and that train. Well, I'd better get on. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Kids... Art Supplies, Greendale Primary School, Greendale. Whoops! Looks like I missed a parcel for the school. i better take it over right now. <laughs> Not much time left now. You need to start thinking about finishing your pictures. Is that the Greendale rocket? Yeah, it's my favourite thing. Really? Why? Well, because... I found her. And I helped to paint the station. And best of all, I got to drive her. But there's something missing. I know what. You need smoke. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. Come on, everyone. It's packing up time. Bring your pictures over here if they're finished. I have a demon started. Well done, everyone. These are really excellent. Sarah helped, sir. I wouldn't have been able to finish it without her. She helped us too, sir. Did she? Well done, Sarah. You've been very helpful today. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pat. Back again? Yes, I found another parcel for you in the van. Here you are. Uh, my hands are a bit full. Can you unwrap it for us, Sarah? It's felt-tip pencil in shiny colours. Those are grand. 
You could make a lovely picture using those, Sarah. Hmm, spots. I think I've got an idea, sir. Looks like that's done the trick. Poor Sarah's been wondering what to paint all day. <laughs> Goodness me, Charlie. What's that? It's the Greendale Bubble Monster. Do you remember? Oh, how could I forget? I've always wanted to see men from outer space. And then, when we saw one, it was brilliant. Except it turned out to be Ted. <laughs> Poor old Ted. I don't think he liked being the bubble monster much. Do you know, Charlie, I think I've had an idea for a painting. You don't mind, do you, Jeff? Why, no, Pat. Be my guest. Here you are, sir. I've finished. Goodness me, Sarah. That was quick. Let's have a look. This looks like everyone's got chicken pox. That's right, sir. Well, I don't understand. How can that be your favourite time, Sarah? Well, you said I was helpful. And I like the chicken pox best because I helped people. Don't forget to gargle. <laughs> Sarah Gilbertson says, don't forget to gargle. Sarah Gilbertson says, don't forget to gargle. And everyone got better. I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up, just like Mum. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Right, everyone, home time. See you all later with your parents. Can I go and play at Mirrors, Dad? Yes, of course you can. I'll pick you up later. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Bye. Uh, don't worry about that, Jeff. Wait, are you sure, Pat? Yes, I've got an idea. Well, OK, then. See you later, Pat. <coughs> Bye, Jeff. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Parents' Evening. I'm sure you'll all enjoy looking at the children's work. Where are the paintings we did today, sir? I want to show Mum. Me too. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure. I can explain, Jeff. I spent a lot of time today trying to think what would be my favourite thing in Greendale. And then I realised. <gasps> wow, that's my painting. And my rocket picture. <gasps> oh. Me. But what's it supposed to be? It's a map of Greendale, Sarah. With all the pictures everyone did today. I don't understand, Pat. This is my perfect painting. A painting of Greendale. Ah! <laughs> Everyone, let's play spaceships. I'm going first. Oh, no, you're not. It was my idea. I'm mission commander. You're what? Off we go then, Jess. <laughs> Jess? <laughs> <laughs> See you at the post office then. Hurry up, everyone. We're off in a minute. Bill and Mira, you're the engineers. And Julian and Lucy, you're the navigators. Bossy or what? What 
that's a navigator. Ugh. It means you watch where we are on the map, but not till we get into space. Right? Ready for blast off? Five, four, three, two... We do the countdown. No, I'm the mission commander. I do the countdown. But I'm the engineer. I make the rocket go. And I help him. Yeah, so we do the countdown, right? <sighs> I'm not playing then. It's my game and I'm mission commander. You can play on your own. We will. You're too bossy anyway. What do we do now then? Let's put our space packs on and go looking for aliens. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Those bins on the green should have been emptied weeks ago. The minute one blows over, the whole village is covered in litter. Aye. Hold on, though. I think I've got something that'll help. Now, where can that be? Uh-huh. Here it is. What on earth is that? It's the Ted Glenn Automatic Litter Blower. I made it out of me vacuum cleaner. I made it blow instead of suck, so I can blow all the litter into a pile. Watch this. All I do is point this at the litter. And whoops! Hey. Way! Alien alert! Alien alert! Alien alert! Alien alert! Whoa! Oh, hello, Sarah. Something wrong? They say I'm too bossy, but I'm the one who has all the ideas. Now they won't play with me. Oh, dear. It's not fair, is it, Pat? Well, having lots of ideas is a good thing. But I think you should listen to your friends as well, don't you? Suppose so. Look, look, look! An alien! Hey! Alien! Freeze. What's wrong? It's not the same without Sarah. Yeah, she was a good mission commander, even if she was bossy. Why don't we go and find her and say sorry? Well, OK. I'm sure your friends are missing you as much as you're missing them. <laughs> you think so? I'm sure of it. Why don't you try being friends with them again? OK, I will. Good girl. Oh, and could you keep an eye out for Jess on your way? He ran off to play this morning and I haven't seen him since. Don't worry, Pat. I'll find it for you. Bye. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. She must be down in the village. Want to lift, kids? Oh, yes, please. Oh, great. Thanks, Dad. Whoa. 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 Hey. Hey. You all right, Ted? Aye. Just takes a bit of getting used to. Oh, hello, Sarah. Looking for something? Yes, actually. Um, have you seen Jess? Uh, no. No, we haven't. Is he all right? Oh, yeah. Pat just asked me to find him. See you later. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Look at that. Stacked up nicely, that has. Let's try me litter blower on the green. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 
Yes, there you are. Oh, no, Jess, no. Oh, careful, Jess. Oh, no. You're stuck. Don't move, Jess. I'm going to get some help. I'll get you down. Help! 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 What's the matter, Sarah? It's Jess. He's stuck up a tree. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I'll be back with my ladder. And I'll phone round to find Pat. Hello, Greendale Post Office. What? It's Jess. He's stuck up a tree and I'm trying to find Pat. He's not back yet, but don't worry. I'll get some help. I'll ring PC Selby. I've never seen litter tidied up so well in my life. Great, isn't it? Way, hey, 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 whoop. Oh dear, he's not answering. No sign of Pat, but Mrs. Goggins is phoning PC Selby. Thanks, love. Stand well back, Sarah. Don't worry, Jess. Stop, Ajay. You're frightening Jess even more. I am, aren't I? Okay, Jess. I'm going down. Oh. Don't worry, Jess. We'll think of something. Hello, you three. Pat. Pat. Have you seen Jess? Yes! What's this? Oh, I've got a message. <laughs> Wee, hey, hey. Oh no! Hey. Ted! Whoop. Ted! Hey! Meow! <laughs> Come on, Jess. Just jump into my arms. You'll be all right. <laughs> What's going on? And what's Sarah doing? Let's go and find out. Sarah? Oh, hello. I thought you were playing spaceships. Yeah, we were. Sorry about what happened. And, uh, We'd like you to be our mission commander again. Even if you are bossy. Ow. Oh. Which you're not really. Oh. I'm sorry too. And next time, I'll listen to your ideas as well. Honest. But what's going on here? Meow! <gasps> Jess! Meow! Meow! <gasps> Steady, Jess. Meow! All right, all right, the police are here. Nobody panic. Pat! Oh, Pat! Pat, I've got a blanket. We can all hold a corner and Jess can jump down into it. Good idea, Mrs Goggins. Why don't we climb up there, Pat? We're astronauts. We're not afraid of heights. No, no, no tree climbing. That's far too dangerous. Perhaps if we just give the tree a shake instead. That's made it worse, that has. That's... Oh, heck. Hey, up. Look out. What's that? Ted's latest invention. The Ted Glen Automatic Litter Blower. 
good, isn't it? Look out! Pat! Ooh. Pat! I've got an idea. We could use Ted's machine to fly up and get Jess down from the tree. <laughs> Would it work, Ted? Nay, Pat. I'm too heavy. It wouldn't take me that high. Why doesn't one of us do it? I I'll do it. Um, uh, I mean, um, I think Bill should do it. No, I think you should do it. Your mission commander, Sarah. Oh, thank you. What do you think, Ted? Oh, I should be safe enough, but don't worry. <laughs> Hold on, Jess. I'm coming. So, all you've got to do is push this lever to go up uh, and this one to come down. All right. Got it, Ted. Count me down. Five. Five four. four. Yes. Come here. Come on. Don't be afraid. Come on, Jess. You can do it. Well done, Jess. And well done, Mission Commander! Oh, oh, well done, well yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Jess. Oh, you did it. Is that a sign for the children's fun run? It is, Mrs Goggins. I'm putting them up all over the village to tell the children where to go. What do you think? It looks wonderful, Pet. Oh, and here's the mystery prize. Ooh, what is it? <laughs> That's the mystery. OK. Come on then, Jess. Yeah. We've got to put up the rest of these signs. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Oh, Bill, Luke, I've won a competition. I entered the Pencaster News crossword and I've won some money. Wow! Brilliant, Mum. Oh, I'm ever so excited. I'll phone Sarah and tell her. Oh, it's only 7.30. Maybe it's a little early. It must be later than that, Mum. It's after nine o'clock. Oh, you're right, Bill. The clock stopped. Here, can you take it down to Ted Glenn's, love, and see if he can fix it? OK. Be careful with it now. Morning, Ted. Everything all right? Oh, morning, Pat. What's that you're making? This is the Ted Glenn Super Fast Barbecue. Least it will be when I've replaced this bit of piping. Maybe this'll help. Me new pipe. <laughs> Grand. There, finished. Have you got them sausages, Pat? Right here, Ted. Grand. Oh! Mm. It's a bit noisy, Ted. Never mind. 
It's how it cooks that matters. Ta-da! Super sausages. Super quick. <coughs> I think it needs a bit more work, Ted. <coughs> I think you're right, Pat. Tell you what, I'll just put up the rest of these signs, then I'll come back and help. Aye, right, thanks, Pat. See you, Ted. I hope Ted can fix it. Hey, I'm sorry, Bill. I don't think I can mend it. Don't worry. You can always get another one. Thanks, Ted. How am I going to get another one? I've only got my pocket money and I spent all that. You're doing a grand job there, Pat. Thanks, Arthur. This is the last one. We're all ready for the fun run now. And I'll be on duty to make yeah, sure everything what? goes to plan. Hello, Jess. Thing is, Pat, I was wondering about this big mystery prize. <gasps> mystery prize? Oh, yes. What exactly is it? Go on, Pat. You can trust me. I don't know myself, Arthur. We'll just have to wait and see. A mystery prize, Jess. Meow. What do you think it is? Meow. I bet it's money. Like Mum's prize from the newspaper. Hey, that's it, Jess. Meow. If I win the fun run, I can use the money to buy Mum a new clock. I'd better be going. I promised I'd help Ted with his barbecue. Bye, Arthur. Bye, Pat. Right now, everyone gather round, please. Um, everyone, please. Now remember, follow these arrows all the way round the village to the finish line. We don't want any of you wee folk getting lost, do we? That's it. If I change the signs round, everyone will go the wrong way. And I'll win. Okay, Ted. I think I've found your problem. Thanks, Bud. Oh. 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 <coughs> nay, Bud. <coughs> it must be someone else. <coughs> Sorry, Ted. Oh dear, look at the time. I've got to start the fun run. Be back later. Bye. Uh. Meow. Brilliant! They'll all go the wrong way now. I can't lose. Who? No. <gasps> oh, Pat. What happened to you? Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, it's a long story, Mrs. Goggins. I'm glad you're here, Pat. Now we can start the run. Righto, everybody. On your marks. Get set. Hooray! <laughs> Come on, Mira. Hurry up, Bill. You'll be last. Everybody, this way. <sighs> oh. Uh, uh, what do we do now? Which way is it then? There should be a sign telling us which way to go. Um, it's this way. 
Come on, Lucy. See you later. Um, I think it's this way. Come on. Oh, at last, the first runner. Well done, Bill. Thanks, PC Selby. <sighs> My word, he's a long way ahead. Oh no, we must have come the wrong way. No, we haven't. There'll be a, a sign here somewhere. What's that funny noise? Oh, it's still not working. I wonder what it is. Let's find out. Come on. Um, thanks, Mum. Well done, Bill. But where are the others? Oh, oh. we're here. Julian? We got lost. We couldn't find any arrows anywhere. No arrows? I don't understand. Something wrong, Pat. The children got a bit lost, Arthur. But they're all here now. Wait a minute. Where's Lucy and Sarah? They went the other way at one of the roads. And, and, and we haven't seen them since. Oh, dear. I hope they haven't got lost. Oh, no. This is all my fault, Jess. Meow. We'd better go and look for them. That's right. Everyone get into teams. We'll search the whole village from here to Ted's water mill. Oh, come on, right Jess. Ahead. You come with me. Pa, wait. What is it, Bill? It's my fault, Sarah and Lucy. I lost. Your fault? Why? I... Uh, I cheated and switched one of the signs round so they go the wrong way. And I could win. Oh, Bill. I'm surprised at you. I know. I'm sorry, but I broke Mum's best clock, see? And I thought if I won the race, I'd get the prize money and buy her a new one. I see. It's good that you wanted to mend your Mum's clock, Bill. But you shouldn't have cheated. You should have told your Mum. She wouldn't have been cross if you were honest. I know. I'm sorry, Pat. All right, Bill. Come with me. The most important thing now is to find Sarah and Lucy. Lucy! Sarah! Lucy! Sarah! Lucy! Sarah! Lucy! Sarah! What? Oh, hello, everybody. <gasps> Sarah! Lucy! Oh! Uh, 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 get off! What's wrong with you, Bill Thompson? Nothing. I'm just glad you're safe, that's all. Hey, up. Everybody's here. Lucy, Sarah, thank goodness. Uh, what's wrong with everyone? We thought you and Lucy were lost. Lost? Why? It's a long story, Lucy. Well, if everybody's here, we might as well try out my new barbecue. The girls have helped me fix it. Hey! Mum, Sarah, Lucy, I've got something to tell you. I'm really sorry about your clock, Mum. I know, love. But you're a good lad for owning up. And anyway, I can use my prize money from the newspaper to buy a new one, eh? <laughs> this burger's cooked perfectly, Ted. How did you mend the machine? I used the bits from Bill's clock to make a timer. That's all it needed to make it work, see? Lucy and Sarah helped me. Well, I never. Here, when are we going to get to the mystery prize? Oh, <laughs> with all the fuss, I clean forgot. But who's going to open it? 
I think Jess has decided to do it for us. <laughs> cool! A crate of Mrs. Goggins homemade lemonade! <laughs> 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 Looks like everyone's won. This is just the thing to go with sausages and burgers. Yeah! Yay!